My king! My king, are you alright? Again! It happened again! Bring them to me! Bring who, sir? The sorcerers, astrologers, Chaldeans! All of them! I can't take it anymore. This has to end! From here, I'm afraid, the story becomes quite strange. Are you sure you want to hear this? Yes! Tell me! I grew up hearing tales of Nebuchadnezzar and his sorcerers and magicians, but I'm sure most of them were just stories. <laughs> Perhaps fewer than you think. And Daniel was right in the middle of it all. But how? How could Daniel be a part of that group and still remain true to his God? Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Believe it or not, I'd say his real secret was prayer. He arranged his whole life around it, three times a day, without fail, and it made his faith stronger. Yes, praying. I know that's where he was the day it almost ended for us all. We praise you, Father, for our lives which are in your care, for our souls which are in your keeping, and for the miracles which we see every day. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Ugh, morning worship is the best part of waking up. It reminds me of back home with mom and dad. Yep, it gives me energy. And I'm gonna need it, cause today's gonna be busy. Busy, but productive. Iltani's got us working on a new irrigation system. She's making us design a way to make water flow uphill. <laughs> yeah, I think she meant it as a punishment. Mm, but the joke's on her, cause we figured it out. That's the nerdiest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me work with you. I've been translating medical procedures for two weeks. I am going crazy. <laughs> if we don't get going, you'll be crazy and late. And don't forget, tonight's the chariot races. You know that's right, Woohoo! <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Nothing, I guess. Now come on, your problems are my problems. Well, the truth is, I'm happy. Oh no, does it hurt? Do you need to lie down? See, it's not funny. Well, I mean, it's a little funny. Why does being happy make you sad? Because we're not supposed to be happy. Look at us. We were torn from our homes, forced to live as captives in a strange land. I don't even know if my parents are alive or dead. But here, they give us new homes, new clothes. I get to hang out with you guys all the time. We worship together, we go to the races. I'm happy. And I feel a little guilty about that. There's no reason to feel guilty, my friend. We don't get to choose if bad things happen to us, but we do get to choose how we handle it. Peace comes from knowing God is in control and that all things work together for good. We've been really fortunate here. That makes me happy too. So you're saying it's all right to be happy in a troubled world? It's more than all right. That's good, because I love race night. Thanks, Daniel. In case I haven't said it enough, thank you for providing all this for us. Once again, I feel your joy within giving my heart wings. To soar above Once again I chose to see the gifts of life It's all Your love Surrounded by temptation But choosing to stay apart I know that I would not prevail without you in my heart. And I know that in these moments, when I don't think I'll make it through, it is 
is in these moments I disappear And all I see is you And it is in these moments that I see Your overwhelming love for me And forever I will serve you Forever I will serve you Forever I will serve you Faithfully You've got to get it out of there. My head's going to explode! I can't take this anymore! Are you sure you wouldn't rather see a doctor? No! I'm not sick! Or am I? What exactly is the problem? Sleep! I can't sleep! For days I've been tormented. Every time I fall asleep, I see it! You see what? A dream! A dream, you say? Uh, here we go. Quiet, you. Your Majesty, as you know, dreams are the realm of the gods. At this very moment, one of the gods is trying to communicate with you. Or it could be something that's not made up. Listen not to this naysayer, my king. Obviously, her weak mind has left her blind to the truth. The only thing leaving me blind is your outfit. Oh, how dare you! Why are you even here, anyway? The gods would never share their secrets with you. I'm here to balance out your nonsense. Nonsense? The mystical power of dreams has long been understood. We have rules for dealing with such things. I have a rule, too. It's never trust a guy that's dressed like a parrot. Oh. I mean, come on, look at yourselves. Oh. I feel like giving you a cracker. Preposterous! Enough of this! Help! me before I go mad! Of course, your majesty. We're here to help. Good! Well? Well, what? Get it out! Get it out! Uh, we will, uh, but you, you haven't told us the dream yet. Well, I don't know the dream! That's what you're here for! <sighs> what did... well, you... Uh, what? The thing is gone from me. Why do you think I'm so distraught? You have to tell me what it is. Well, that's not how this works, your majesty. Uh, you give the dream and we give the interpretation. You see, we have rules for how- Are you saying you can't do this? Uh, no, uh, we can do it. Uh, just tell us the dream first. If you don't tell me my dream, I'll cut you to pieces and burn your houses to the ground! Uh, your Majesty, please! But if you can show me my dream in the interpretation, I'll give you riches and honor! We want to help you, sire, but how can we? Back off, Lagish. I, I think he's serious. Well, so am I! Uh, tell us the dream, and we will prepare a wonderful interpretation for you! I promise! It's all very clear now. You're stalling! You have no powers. You just want to hear the dream so you can make up lies to tell me. But I have no use for powerless magicians! If you want to live, tell me my dream. Only then will I trust your interpretation. Sir, no one on the planet can do what you ask. And no king has ever demanded such a thing. What you're asking is impossible. Uh, unless it's revealed by some god or goddess. And obviously, they're not talking to any of us. Go get Ariok. Uh, no! Uh, not Ariok! Uh, we can tell you the dream! Uh, uh, right, guys? Uh, we yeah. can do this! Yeah, in your dream, you were at work, and then you realized you were in your underwear. Yeah, and then you were ch chased by giant bugs, right? I I have that one a lot. Were you falling? You might have been falling. That's very common. I can tell you what that means. Would you guys knock it off? Then you do something. Nice to see you there, my king. What can I do for you this morning? Are you familiar with my council of wise men? Oh yeah, great bunch of people. We play cards sometimes. What about them? Kill them all. You got it. My king, this is unreasonable! Please! It's my decree that all the wise men in Babylon be executed unless somebody tells me my dream! This dream I may not know, but one thing I do... You do not speak to gods, not one of you. 
If you can prove I'm wrong, tell me my dream. You must tell me what I do not know, and what does it mean? King, we pray that you will forever live. But you ask of us what we just cannot give. Please give to us a hint of this wondrous dream. Then we will tell you what you do not know and all that it means. Death will be swift to these treacherous lies. Darkness holds secret what vision transpires. My rage will consume a glory once seen. Will someone tell me what I do not know? And what does it mean? Logic plays no part in this travesty. Reason has abandoned his majesty. It's death. Someone intervenes But no one can tell him what he does not know And all that it means The gods they gave to me A dream so rare I know they spoke to me Now the words aren't there know what is lost what was this dream someone tell me what I do not know and what does it mean we have been betrayed by our own powerless gods is there not one or two who aren't frauds eternal Guiding behind the scenes But who can tell us what we do not know And what it all means All right, this here is Belteshazzar, but I call him Daniel, because we're like that, you know? Sorry, buddy. No hard feelings, okay? What's going on here, Ariok? What did we do? Well, from what I hear, it's not really what you did, it's what you didn't do. But you know what? I like you. I'm gonna do you a favor. Let's kill him last. He's a buddy of mine. There you go, pal. Got you all set up. Don't say I never did nothing for Wait, you. Wait, Ariok, tell me what's happening. Please. Look, I don't know the details. The king had a dream. Nobody could interpret it. Bada boom, bada bing. You're all gonna die. End of story. No one could interpret the dream? It's not that simple, Daniel. The king doesn't know what the dream was. He wants someone to read his mind. It's impossible. So there you go. Read his mind or lights out. I can't read his mind, but I know who can. You've got to take me to the king. Oh, I don't know, Daniel. He's pretty wound up right now. You could make things worse. <laughs> He's gonna kill us. How could it be worse? Well, there's killing ya. And then there's killing ya, if you know what I mean. Take me anyway. I know what I'm doing. Sadly, I knew Daniel was our only hope. It was up to his quick wit and his political charisma. But, of course... He would say it was up to his god. Well, he obviously talked Nebuchadnezzar out of it, or else you wouldn't be sitting here. Oh, he got us out all right. But the question is how. I can only tell you what I heard and what I saw, but you're not going to believe it. Hey, how you doing, King? Hope I'm not interrupting. Is that a new robe? It looks good on you. I'm so tired. The weight of the world is crushing my soul. Yeah, anyways, I got a guy here that says he can tell you what your dream is. What? 
Who is it? Yeah, you remember Belteshazzar? He's one of your wise guys in engineering. Thinks he can help. And he better be right. Do not waste my time, young man. What powers do you have to tell me my dream? I have no powers, my king, but I serve a god who knows all and sees all. Ugh, I've heard this story before. Not from me, you haven't. The others place their hopes in idols made of wood and stone, but they haven't yet discovered the wonders of the god I serve. It's this god who has given you a dream. He's the one who can reveal it and the only one who can interpret it. Give me time, and God will provide the answers you seek. Time? Every moment that passes is fresh torture! How can I possibly give more time? Because if you put us all to death now, you'll never know the truth. How do I know you're not just stalling? You don't. But at least give me 24 hours. You won't be sorry. <sighs> all right. I'll give you time. But not 24 hours. I'll give you till morning. And if you don't come back with the exact dream and what it means, then your god will die with you here in Babylon. Is that understood? Yes, your majesty. Thank you. And thank you, too. Yeah, oh, you got it. Go do your thing. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Poor chump doesn't even know he's doomed. As the hours passed, I knew Daniel had somehow stayed our execution. I found myself hopeful, but deep in my heart I knew it was only a matter of time. The task was simply impossible. Daniel! Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Haven't you heard what's been going on? The king wants us all executed! Can you believe that? We're not even sure why! We heard a rumor that he wants someone to remind him of a dream he can't remember. Yeah, but that can't be true. It's crazy. It's just crazy. It doesn't make sense. The bottom line is, they're gonna come in here at any minute and drag us off to our deaths. Our deaths! The end. Final. They're gonna kill us! You're taking this remarkably well. I just spoke to the king. You did? And? And we have until morning to tell him what his dream was and what it means. If we can't. So that's it then. It's over. There's got to be a way to fix this. Like what? What will we possibly know in the morning that we don't know now? The king's gone crazy! Maybe we can talk some sense into him. Get him to change his mind. Or maybe we should just make a break for it. Make a break for it? What are you, a bank robber? You gotta steal a camel and hightail it across a desert? I don't know. I'm just trying to weigh the options. That's just it! There are no options! That's not true. We have the only option that matters. We place this problem in God's hands and watch him do the impossible. I believe with all my heart that sometime before tomorrow morning, God will make this dream known to us. I don't know how, but God has been faithful to us in all we've been through, and I have faith in Him now. This is not our darkest hour. This is an opportunity for God to shine brightest of all. You're absolutely right, Daniel. Of course God will take care of us. What should we do, Daniel? Just name it. We pray. We pray with all the passion in our hearts, and know that God will hear us. Will you start for us? Lord, our lives have never really had a time limit before. So, we're not really sure what to do. But we're praying, Lord. We're opening our hearts to you. If you choose not to use us, we understand. We have always been and will always be your servants. But please, reveal to us what only you can know. Use us, Lord. We offer you everything we are. I had never been in the prison at night before. It was so dark you couldn't see the person next to you. 
but you could hear the rats scurrying, the whimpers of the other prisoners, and, and I didn't dare sleep. The moments of my life were slipping away, and soon they would be gone. What was Daniel doing that night? How did he figure out the dream? <laughs> Believe me, I wish I knew. But the next day... Daniel? Daniel? Daniel, wake up! Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! What is wrong with you? I saw it. What? My heart stopped? Yeah, everybody saw that. I saw the dream. What? I saw it. I know what the dream was. And better yet, I know what it means. You saw it? I saw it. Are you sure? Uh, how can you be sure? Oh, I'm sure, all right. God gave me the same vision Nebuchadnezzar had. What a wonderful God. Will we ever need more proof of his endless power? Praise his name. Forever and ever, we will bless the name of the Lord. Forever and ever, we will bless the name of the Lord. Forever and ever, we will bless the name of the Lord. Because wisdom and might are His. He controls the times. He controls the seasons. His power determines the path of kings. Are you out of your mind? Set them free, Ariok. Set them all free. Now that's not really how the judicial system works. It is today. Take me to the king, and I'll interpret his dream. Yeah, right. Then we'll bake some cupcakes and take him to the pixies in the magical forest. I assume you're being sarcastic. No, really? I couldn't be more serious, Ariok. God showed me everything. Take me to the king. Really? Way to go, Daniel! All right! I'm begging you! Release them, Ariok! Bring them with us! The king will set them free anyway! Oh, I'm getting totally fired for this! Guards! Untie the prisoners! They're coming with us! Come on! God has delivered us all today! Hey, good morning there, your majesty! Good to see you today! Are you growing a beard? I like that! Oh, the colors of time and space swirl menacingly above my head. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Uh, hey, listen, you remember Belteshazzar from yesterday? Well, he's back, King, and he can interpret your dream. 
Is this a trick? I can assure you, my king. It's the truth only my god can give. Are you sure you can do this? Tell me the dream and interpret it for me. No human can solve this mystery for you. But there is a god in heaven who has this all under control. You see, he's sending you a message telling you what will happen in the end of days. The interpretation is given through me, not because I'm any smarter than the rest of you, but simply so you will understand what you dreamed. What you saw was a huge statue, striking in appearance and terrifying. The head of the statue was pure gold, the chest and arms were silver, the belly and hips were bronze, the legs were iron, and the feet were a mix of iron and clay. While you watched, a stone was cut out of a mountain by an invisible hand. It was hurled at the statue, smashing its feet of iron and clay. Then the whole thing fell to pieces, smashed to bits like the chaff of wheat on the summer threshing floor. The wind blew the dust away so not a trace could be found. But the stone that hit the statue became a huge mountain dominating the horizon. This was your dream, and now the interpretation. You, Nebuchadnezzar, are the greatest king on earth. God puts you in charge over all men and beasts. The head of gold represents you, my king but your kingdom won't last. It will be conquered by another kingdom, and that one will be conquered by a third, a bronze kingdom. And although they aren't as mighty as Babylon, they still will rule the entire earth. And after that, a fourth kingdom will arise, iron-like in strength, and just as iron can smash other things to bits, this fourth kingdom will completely wipe out the previous kingdoms. Then the feet and toes that ended up as a mixture of clay and iron will deteriorate into a mixed bag of the breakable and unbreakable. That kingdom won't bond, won't hold together any more than iron and clay hold together. But throughout the history of these empires, the God of heaven will be building his own kingdom that will never fall to another. In the end, it will crush the other kingdoms, standing strong and eternal. It will be like the stone cut from the mountain by the invisible hand. The great God has shown you what will happen in the years to come. This is an accurate telling of the dream and a true interpretation. You did it! That was exactly my dream and I know your interpretation is true. You're the greatest fortune teller on earth! Not me, sir. God controls the past and present. Then your God is the God of all gods and the revealer of all mysteries. I know, because you've just solved my mystery. Ariok, go make sacrifices. Burn incense in Daniel's honor. We must celebrate this Please, day. Please, give glory to God. I'm only a messenger. No, you're far more than that. You know what you are? You're the new governor of Babylon. And I'm putting you in charge of all wise men. Clearly, your abilities put theirs to shame. <laughs> Thank you, your majesty. But perhaps you should sleep before you make a decision like this. <laughs> That's what I love about you. Level-headed all the way. We need leaders like you around here. Please, say you'll do it. <laughs> this is a tremendous honor you're giving me. Allow me to appoint these men to help me. And you have my word. We will serve you well. Done! <laughs> <laughs> I can't thank you enough. You're amazing! <laughs> Not me, my king. God. I look forward to learning more about this god. Now leave me. I must sleep. All right, folks, hit the road. You don't want to meet my two friends, Thunder and Lightning. Daniel! Oh, Iltani. I just had to say thank you in person for what for what you just saved our lives i sat in prison all night long thinking today would be my last and you can't imagine how grateful i am no need to thank me Altani. thank god instead but daniel wait i've known you for three years and i've seen you do some pretty special things but this what you did in there 
It was impossible. Nothing is impossible. That's not true. Some things are impossible, like knowing a man's dream without him telling you. But you did it. And, and I have to know how. How? Listen, Iltani. Please, Daniel. There's nobody else around. You must know you can trust me by now. Please. It's not about trust. Well, then tell me. It's going to drive me crazy if I don't know how you did it. But you do know. God showed me the oh, dream. come on, Daniel. I'm not some wannabe magician trying to steal your tricks. Your secret's safe with me, but you have to show me how. Iltani, what I told the king, it's all true. In fact, I never once lied to you. Oh, stop this. That's a lie right Why there. Why is it so hard for you to believe when all the evidence points to our heavenly God. Because it doesn't make sense. The gods don't do that. They don't talk to you. They don't give you visions to save people's lives. They don't do anything. So knock it off and tell the truth. You see it all, yet you choose to be blind. Wait, he, he didn't forget his dream, did he? He wrote it down or told somebody and you heard him. That's it, isn't it? I will find out, Daniel. Someday, I will know the truth. I know you will, Iltani. I have faith you will. The arrogance! That was the last straw. I had to get him to admit his trickery. I had to do something drastic. Something dangerous. But what? It wouldn't be easy. I, I knew Daniel was far too strong, far too clever, and with his friends always around for support. And that's when I knew. I must first get to his friends. If I could get them to deny their god, well, then Daniel would surely follow. So I made a plan. It was brilliant and complex and required all my subtleties, but I knew if I pulled it off, Daniel would break. I went to the king the first chance I got. It was time to show the world Daniel's true nature. Iltani! Come in, come in! Do you have any news about our little project? Indeed I do, sir. Excellent! You know what I've been thinking of calling it? The Hanging Gardens. Nice! And what we've designed looks just like the mountains of your wife's homeland. It has many galleries and it has lots of cages for birds and animals, including a lion's den. Yes, I love lions. Oh, but here's the best part. We've designed a way to pump water to the top of the structure. That means we can have a wide variety of plants and trees native to her homeland. Oh, she's gonna love that. Do it! Build it! Well, there is one problem. We'll have to go to her native land to get those plants. Oh, right. Medea is a great empire, but her father is over the top crazy! Frightening! I know. I was thinking, whoever we send needs to be very diplomatic. You know, good with people. You're right. But who? Hey! What about Daniel? Of course! Brilliant idea! I guess that's why you're the king and I'm not, right? Well, that and many other reasons, yes. I'll talk to Daniel right away. That Medean lunatic is gonna love him. Daniel's awesome, isn't he? Did you hear what he did with my dream? Incredible! I did. Amazing. Too bad about the interpretation, though. That's rough. What? What are you talking about? Well, you know how your wonderful empire is going to be conquered by another lesser kingdom? Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that part. Can I speak freely, your majesty? Of course, Iltani. What is it? I think Daniel got it wrong, sire. Has there ever been an empire so powerful? Our walls are 22 feet thick. Our own army couldn't penetrate them, much less a weaker one. We're so rich with resources, we can build the Hanging Gardens, which is the perfect name, by the way. Yeah? You like it? I love it! The Hanging Gardens is going to be a symbol of Babylon's glory from now until the end of time. You're not just the head of gold, my king. That whole statue should be made of gold, because what you've built will never die. When Daniel spoke those words, it felt so true. Well, I, I certainly don't want it to be true. Then don't let it be. 
That whole statue should be gold. That would be a glorious statue, wouldn't it? A golden empire that lasts for all eternity. Build that statue, my king. Build it in your own image and make the whole world bow to you. You deserve it. Yes. Yes, I should. But Daniel's god would surely be angry. So what? How great could he be if he thinks your kingdom is going to fall? He deserves no worship. The people of Babylon should worship you. You provide for all their needs, not some invisible god. Build it, sire. Build it now while it's fresh in everyone's minds. I'll put our best men on it. Just say the word and it's done. Why don't you work up some plans? This could be just what we need around here to build morale. Right away, my king. And Iltani? Make it big. Of course, my king. It was all coming together. Daniel would be gone for months and the king's ego would help break his three friends. And yet, I was not happy. My mind was consumed with only one question. How did Daniel interpret that dream? It could not be the work of a god. Or, or could it? Soon Daniel would tell me the truth. Soon he would have no choice. I must admit that was quite a trick. It isn't often something gets by me. Daniel, you have style, best I've seen in a while. So much potential I can see. You must show me how I must know now. Please don't insult my intelligence. I know it's fraud, it wasn't some god. Let's just use some common sense. How could you see what cannot be seen? How could you know what cannot be known? How did you find that dream in the night? How did you find that dream in the night? I'd like to think I have an open mind But when you give credit to your God It frustrates me cause I think we both know It's just an impressive facade How could you see what cannot be seen? How could you know what cannot be known? How did you find that dream in the night? How did you find that dream in the night? How did you find that dream in the night?